Make kale smoothies. Meditate for an hour a day. Learn a new language. Bench press a cow. Walk 10,000 steps a day. I don't know about you, but I'm sick and tired of being told to do more than I have time to do. I have a life. I can't invent more hours in the day, and I refuse to be shamed for not adopting every personal habit that a productivity guy like me should be doing. Instead, I want to share some ideas for productive micro habits that you can incorporate into your existing routine, like while you're driving or on a bus or doing housework or watching TV or showering or cooking or sitting on the can or waiting for a friend or otherwise able to multitask much more effectively than you might have thought. I'm Andrew with Brainscape, an adaptive study app that's built on decades of cognitive science research on how we learn better, stay motivated, and optimize our productivity without burning out. One of our core tenets here at Brainscape is helping every person to learn more efficiently. Not by spending more time studying, but by learning faster in the time you do study freeing up more time for you to focus on the things that you want to. The same philosophy extends beyond learning into dozens of other opportunities for efficiency in your daily routine. For example, brushing your teeth. Think about it. Brushing your teeth accounts for at least four minutes of your day, assuming that you spend the recommended two minutes brushing twice per day. That's 28 minutes every week, two hours per month, and an entire 24 hour day per year that you spend brainlessly staring at yourself in the mirror. Instead, while you brush your teeth, try any or many of the following small habits that have short and long-term benefits. Number one, hold a deep squat to instantly boost your heart rate, your circulation, and your metabolism. Improve your muscle definition and balance in the process. Number two, run through the day's goals and priorities in your head. What's the hardest thing you need to get done? What's your first step for getting it done? What's stopping you? Number three, gratitude. Yes, it can sound woo-woo, but there's real scientific evidence supporting the mental and physical health benefits of practicing gratitude, particularly in combating anxiety and depression. So while you brush your teeth, Think of three things, big or small, that you're grateful for. I started this advice with the brushing your teeth routine because it's kind of an anchor habit that reminds you to do things like holding a deep squat, which you might not have otherwise done. And if you're good about doing that habit every time you brush your teeth, eventually you'll just do it without thinking. And before long, you'll have buns of steel. Another daily anchor habit that's probably going to waste is taking a shower. At an average of four minutes long each day, that is another 24 hour days worth of your life that you're engaged in each year with the mindless task of washing yourself. Now, try leveling up your morning shower instead with any or all of the following small habits that won't take any more time. Number one, make the shower freezing cold. Even if it's just for one minute, cold showers can boost your alertness and make you feel invigorated which also boosts your metabolism, your mood, your mental resilience, your focus, your motivation, and a million other benefits. Check out our other articles and videos about cold showers, by the way. Number two, perform some mental decluttering. Similar to when you brush your teeth, you can use your shower time to run through your day's priorities or goals, and you could even practice a hard conversation that you need to have with someone. Sure, you might look a little crazy talking to yourself, but you're probably by yourself in the shower anyway. Number three, repeat a mantra that means something to you. I'm enough, I'm imperturbable. I will have a good day because it's my choice. Every cell in my body is alive and beautiful. Again, it may sound a little woo woo, but it works and your mind will thank you for it. The final anchor habit I'll talk about today, although there are many more that we discuss in our Academy article in the show notes is watching TV. Now, I'm definitely not saying that you should watch TV. It'll rot your brain, but you're probably doing it anyway. So if you're gonna watch the boob tube, then at least you can find some ways to make it a little bit healthier for your mind and body. Number one, do some couch yoga, do stretches or run through some yoga poses on the floor in front of the TV. Keep a mat nearby within sight so that you're reminded to do those yoga poses when you're three episodes deep into your favorite show. You can even just stay seated on the couch cross-legged and stretch your hands forward to activate your muscles and pull out those stiff tendons. Number two, learn with Brainscape. Whip out your phone, your tablet, or your laptop, open Brainscape, and run through a few flashcards for some lightweight yet 
quality studying. Brainscape is easy to combine with TV because answering the flashcards question is a whole lot easier than trying to focus on reading a whole textbook chapter when the identity of the murderer on Law & Order is just about to be revealed. Number three, drink water. Lots of water. Fill up a big water bottle and keep it next to you the whole time you watch TV. Aside from the obvious, which is staying hydrated, it'll also force you to get up frequently to pee, which means that you're gonna stretch, you're gonna move around, which is good for your body. And if you're procrastinating, it could also snap you out of that TV trance and get you back to doing something a little bit more productive. Now, a lot of these habits could actually be combined differently with each other or really could be used any time that you find yourself waiting for something and stuff being unproductive. Because really at the end of the day, time is money. It's the most precious thing that you'll ever have. So the more that you could squeeze out of the time that you've got without having to spend extra effort or suffering, the richer that your life will be and the more those benefits will compound. So keep building on those anchor habits one at a time until they become so automatic that you've freed up your brain power for bigger and bigger challenges every day.